Hi there, it's December the 8th and today we are looking at one whole book again in the Greek scriptures and this is the book of Jude uh, or Judah or the Hebrew name Yehuda, Yudha in Greek and this is uh, perhaps one of the most controversial books in the New Testament in that it only just makes it into the canon because there were some doubts about its authenticity. It's unclear exactly who Yudha, Yehuda is. He calls himself a slave of Jesus and the brother of James, but we're not exactly sure who this is. Um, and he's certainly talking about some things that had crept into the church in terms of heresies and difficulties which came later on in the church's story. However, it was kept in because it is clearly uh, a, a book promoting Jesus, promoting the true faith. And so, uh, first of all, um, Jude says he's writing to everybody who loves Jesus, but he's concerned about those who have come in and they are allowing anything goes mentality. Now, imagine that when the law of Moses was set aside in terms of the Christians realised they didn't have to keep the Mosaic Code, there were those who said, well, it doesn't matter then, we're under grace, we can do anything we like because we have constant forgiveness. And these are the people, and particularly this was true of the Gnostics, who said that because this matter, this, this earth is evil matter, and it's all going to be burned up anyway, and because God is going to save us through our secret knowledge, it doesn't matter what we do here, and anything goes. But Jude, the writer here, is saying this is just not on. And actually, these people who are saying this are like ancient people who were under God's judgment. So he quotes the angels who fell from grace and who were kept in prison by God. He also quotes Sodom and Gomorrah and the people of Egypt who were destroyed at the time of the Exodus. He's saying they are in for real shock when they realise that God's unhappiness, God's anger is against them. And he then goes on as well to take similar pictures out of the uh, the Hebrew scriptures about um, me mentioning Cain and Balaam and Korah, those who disobeyed God, who pur uh, purported to be from God, those who even heard God's voice, but who uh, misled the people and therefore were judged for it. And so the um, Jude here in writing, he's, he's very pejorative about these people. He says they are waterless, uh, um, waterless places. They are being blown about all over the place. Don't listen to them. And warns towards the end of this short letter um, that people should uh, guard themselves and, and be careful of those who, who come in because they were warned that there would come those who would stand against the true faith of Jesus. And then there's a turn towards the end of the letter where he says, but you, beloved, but you, the ones who really trust Jesus, what you really need to be doing is building up yourselves in your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit. These are the things that really are important. Keeping yourselves in the love of God and looking for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ for eternal life. He says, if you're able to save those who are going the wrong way, have mercy. Don't cut them off, but try and restore them to Jesus. And then the short book ends with one of the most beautiful um, benedictions, one of the most beautiful exhortations and blessings uh, found in the scripture. When, it, when he says, now to him who is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with overwhelming joy, to the only wise God, our Saviour, through Messiah Jesus, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, now and forever. Amen. What an amazing way to finish this book. What an amazing blessing that we can receive. Staying away from those things which are going to mislead us and take us away from our key person, from the key relationship with Jesus, who is the one through whom we have this amazing rescue that he has given to us. Let's, let's, be, let's rejoice in that today and let's know the riches that we're receiving through this most holy faith and build ourselves up praying in the Holy Spirit. Have a very good December the 8th.